Hello, everybody. My name is Benny Benny, and today I'm going to show you six, that's right, six hidden gems for the PlayStation 3 that you may have missed. But before we can begin, please do hit that like button for more gaming reviews, uh, walkthroughs, rankings, and just pure on gaming videos. Uh, and be sure to subscribe. But on that note, let's begin. Next, we got 2010's Heavy Rain, which is a PlayStation exclusive, and it has you playing as four main characters who have been affected by the origami killer, a serial killer who drowns his victims in rainwater. He only kills when it rains outside. This game threads around the theme of how far are you willing to go to save someone you love, and every move you make in this game can affect the story down the line and which ending you might get. I definitely recommend this game if you're into mystery novels, or TV shows, or you just want something suspenseful to play on your PlayStation 3. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Starting off, we got 2008 007 Quantum of Solace, which was published by Activision. The shooter game is mainly in first person, but it does offer some third person shooting when you go into cover mode from different enemies. The story of the game is very interesting, as it sandwiches the story of Casino Royale into the Quantum of Solace story. The story is not perfect, it has its flaws, and it definitely has plot holes and issues, but it's still quite a fun game. I highly recommend this game if you like shooter games, or if you're just a Bond fan in general. There are some at MI6 who think I can't trust you. That you're blinded by inconsolable rage. And motivated by revenge. But your motivation isn't my only concern. What concerns me your methods. The next game on this list is a racing game, uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift, which is a sequel to Motorstorm. This is a realistic driving game with physics playing a big part in how to maneuver around the course. The single player consists of three different modes. Race mode, which is just your standard the standard race mode, you want to try and get first place, but second and third place are also acceptable, and you don't want to get last place. Well, if you because if you do, well, you suck. Uh, then we have speed mode, in which you must drive through all the checkpoints as fast as possible, and third we have eliminator mode, where you must race to be the first in the race, and around every 30 seconds, uh, the person who's in last place gets eliminated. So you want to be first place and you have 15 minutes to move up in the race. And they actually have four games in the MotorStorm series, three for the PlayStation 3, so we have MotorStorm, MotorStorm Pacific Rift, and MotorStorm Apocalypse, and one for the PlayStation 2. I'm not actually sure what that one's called, but I'll probably uh, leave the title down below on the screen. In the tower defense category, we have the one and only Plants vs. Zombies. If you don't know what this game is, then where have you been for the last 12 years? The goal is to defend Crazy Dave's house from a variety of different types of zombies using plants, which all have different abilities. To plant plants, you're going to need sun, the main currency of the game, which you can collect by planting sun producing plants or collecting the sun that naturally falls from the sky when it's daytime. When it's nighttime though, that changes because sun does not fall from the sky and you're going to have to use different types of sun producing plants to collect that sun. And you're also going to have to stick with cheaper plants because you're going to have less sun production during the nighttime stages. Fighting, yes. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition is the perfect fighting game for PlayStation 3. 
In the story mode, you play as a different character in each chapter of the story in your quest to defeat Shao Kahn. Characters in this game include Sonya Blade, Sub-Zero, Katana, and Raiden. There's also a two-player co-op campaign mode. One of my favorite parts of this game is, co is the co-op split-screen mode where you can fight a friend. Each player chooses their own character and they fight to the death. Despite some of the critical reviews of this game, Wally -E still remains one of my favorite games for the, for the system. There are nine main levels and one bonus level. You play as Wally -E for the most part and Eve for the rest of the levels. One of the downsides to this game, levels involving Eve can be somewhat hard at times and the controls for Eve are not the best. One of my favorite things about this game is that each level has collectibles for you to find. And the final game on this list is a sports game. I don't have much experience with sports games, but I quite like this one, FIFA 12. It really doesn't need much explanation, but I, I chose this one for one particular reason. It's the only sports game I own, it's the only one I've ever played. Uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe for more gaming videos, reviews, news, walkthroughs, and just sharing gameplay videos. Bye-bye.